Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT University, a one stop shop to learn all the technologies. At this time we are talking about uh, uh, setting up uh, Hadoop core components and uh, as part of this video while setting up MapReduce, um, before getting into setting up Yarn plus MRV2, we will see what are the challenges related to MRV1. So the first major challenge is um, uh, the master process for MRV1 which is job tracker is a single point of failure which means that if it goes down until it comes back, uh, comes, uh, back up and running uh, you will not be able to submit any jobs. It is tightly coupled uh, with MapReduce which means that apart from MapReduce jobs you cannot run anything uh, using uh, the classic framework. You can only submit MapReduce jobs. It also because, uh, because of that it also uh, uh, it has another disadvantage as it is tightly coupled with MapReduce it cannot keep track of resources used by Hadoop ecosystem tools which does not use MapReduce um, to process the data. For example, HBase does not use MapReduce to process the data. It uses something called region servers. Impala uses Impala D and Spark uses Spark executors and those things are not uh, uh, MapReduce is not aware of those things. So, if th those components are actually taking resources on the cluster and if you try to run the MapReduce jobs uh, along with those then um, as MapReduce uh, is not aware of the resource resources consumed by the other uh, tools uh, there could be contention between uh, uh, MapReduce based tools and non-MapReduce based tools. And also one of the uh, another disadvantage is if you go back to the list of parameters here you can see these two parameters map rate task tracker map tasks maximum and map rate task tracker reduce tasks maximum so that disadvantage of that is let me show by running a job on this cluster Okay, clear, CD, exit, I am on the gateway node or master 01, CD, I am in the home directory of it now and I am running the same job, Hadoop jar command, using Hadoop jar command, only thing is I am trying to write it into a different directory, okay, and now I ran the job. And now the job is started. So now we can go to the job tracker web interface. So let me enable uh, SSH tunneling here so that I can use Foxy proxy tools, Foxy proxy, use proxy MR Sox proxy, and then IP hyphen. Yes, so this is the job tracker IP address with 50030 as port number. Now the job is running. You can click on the job and you can see that at any point in time you are seeing uh, only four tasks are running. The reason is when you actually search for that parameter map red dot task tracker map dot task maximum or uh, let me actually search for it here map dot tasks dot maximum it is actually configured to 2 ok and the reduce tasks maximum is also configured to 2 so it is equally distributed for mappers and reducers so we have a 4 node cluster then If the map task maximum is 2, actually it should run 8 map tasks, but it is only running 1. So it could be the issue with the code itself. So only 4 are running. Anyway, still I can explain it. So if you go to this uh, job.xml, or actually if you go to the Cloudera manager and search for tasks.maximum 
okay at cloudera level it is it is configured only to uh, for one map task and one reduce task so we we have four cpus on each of the host this is per host uh, uh, so out of the four cpus we have only configured two of them to to run the process and out of the two also only uh, uh, as as the current job is running with maps only as there are no reducers uh, as no reducers are executing still it has to it will only use um, uh, based upon the number of map tasks that are configured so because we have four nodes and uh, the map task maximum is one it is only using four in the cluster even though there are uh, there is capacity more than four so this is the disadvantage uh, either because of this either the cluster will be underutilized or if you war configure uh, um, uh, because you are hard coding that there could be contention also okay and another disadvantage is log files are scattered across all the nodes in the cluster so you have the log.dir parameter in log4j.properties which will control where sh uh, where the log files should be and those log files will be scattered across all the nodes in the cluster if you want to troubleshoot a issue uh, it will be tedious to go through all the nodes in the cluster uh, to get the log files for a given job okay as long as the job is running uh, as long as it shows uh, uh, in the top 10 uh, or uh, uh, as long as it shows up in retired jobs it is fine but if it uh, if it is moved out of the retired jobs then it is not easy to get the details about the jobs in uh, mrv1 because the log files are scattered even if the log files show up here if you want to see the uh, run some analytics and see uh, any pattern of abnormal behavior it is tedious using mrv1 so these are the these are the challenges when it comes to mrv1 it is single point of failure it is tightly coupled with MapReduce. It does not keep track of resources used by other Hadoop ecosystem tools. Either the cluster will be underutilized or there could be contention of resources if mappers and reducers uh, are not configured properly and log files are scattered across all the nodes in the cluster. So all these uh, challenges can be addressed using uh, the framework called YARN which stands for Yet Another Resource Negotiator and uh, we will actually see uh, how to set up and uh, uh, what are the differences with respect to the daemon process parameter files log files and all those things as part of the future videos that being said i hope you're enjoying the content on the channel if you like this video please click on the like button if you want to provide the feedback please use the comment section of the video if you want to discuss further about big data or hadoop uh, or uh, certifications please join my linkedin groups called itversity um, hyphen big data or it versity hyphen certifications and finally if you are not subscribed to my channel yet please do so you will get to see a lot more content like this over time that being said thank you bye